There is an opportunity now to change education in America that there hasn't been before, and the way to do it is going to be by giving each child a computer. Now this computer is called a cell phone. That's what it's about. And in fact, all the kids are bringing cell phones to school anyhow. So why don't we use these computers in school every day 24-7? This is their father's computer. They don't want their father's computer. They want their computer. That's what this is about. What we have done at the University of Michigan, colleagues and I have developed educational software that is appropriate for kids for learning, and we've built it for these kinds of devices. We've then licensed that software to a company called GoNo that I and my colleague Kathy Norris from the University of North Texas have founded, and now we're licensing that software out to the world. Our software is being used on PDAs, on personal digital assistants, on handheld computers. Those computers don't have cellular radios. However, we're starting to see a change. It, in the UK, in Singapore, they're starting to use cell phones, actual cell phones, in classrooms. In the United States, we're talking to schools in Texas that are interested in using cell phones in the classroom. It's a humongous change. We have designed the Mobile Learning Environment, MLE. And Mobile Learning Environment is to support children in doing learning activities, and it's to support teachers in transforming their paper and pencil curriculum that they have to make it, to reformulate it so that it runs on these kinds of devices. And we have uh, an animation program called Sketchy. The kids love Sketchy. You do drawing, you do animation, you do words, you learn math, you learn science, all within the context of this program. We have concept mapping program. And we use also third party programs, lots of other programs that other people have written. Let me show you a lesson in the mobile learning environment, MLE. Let me show you the water cycle. Ta-da! Okay, first thing first, teachers have to give instructions to the children. So what I'm going to do is tap on this tile, and the tile opens up, and in the tile are the instructions. Show the key concepts of the water cycle in PicoMap, which is a concept mapping program, and define each term. That's worth 30 points. Create an animation of the water cycle in Sketchy. That's an animation program. So these are the instructions. Let me show you an animation uh, of the water cycle. This was done by a sixth grader in Bangladesh, and he's going to describe the different phases of the uh, water cycle, but taking the position of a droplet of water. And he's going to tell you a story about the water cycle. Here it is. Today was the best day of my life. I'm riding in a water truck. So let me start the animation. And notice you can see the number of the frame. This is frame one, frame two, frame three. So you can see the water truck moving, and this is part of his story. Okay, the water truck is moving, and it gets to the Royal Rumble. And it says, we finally stopped in front of the WWF, the World Wrestling Federation. I got loaded into a filter. Uh, someone drank me. It was Randy Orton, da -da, some fighter. Aha, today was the great match, the HHH versus the Legend Killer. Today and after the match, I was sweated out and evaporated. Aha, there is a term from the water cycle, and I didn't even see the results. Now I'm going up into the clouds, I'm condensing, etc., etc. And uh, he's telling you the story about going over the Himalaya mountains. There are a number of other learning activities where the children manipulate other kinds of media, other kinds of representation, textual representations, animation representations, spreadsheets, pictures. Education has always been the way we do things in America. My parents came to this country in 1946. I didn't speak English. I learned English in a public school. That's, I got, a, I got an education. I'm very thankful for it. And the children today go to school, they get an education, and that's their future. These, te these technologies, these mobile cellular technology, they are the future for the children. And we cannot ban them anymore. We have to embrace them. We have to use them.